I think just the randomness we played with. We played very free, and uh, you know, buddy, <laughs> buddy gets knocked sometimes playing too random, like he's flying around in the wrong spot sometimes. But that randomness really helped us tonight. Uh, it got to the point where Rick was like, I don't even want to join anything up. Just go play, you know what I'm saying? And him flying around, and it, it kind of just everybody kind of flowed through that. And uh, I think I think you know he set the tone with us just moving, and, and that caused problems for them. From a scoring perspective, you had a lot of success, especially early. Was that intentional? Was that just kind of yeah. taking what they were reading? Yeah, too bad. Yeah, intentional. 100% intentional. Uh, I guess I was, a lot of people said I was too passive. I felt like I was too passive last game, so I just wanted to come out and set the tone early, and and uh, shots were falling, so I was feeling good. Two games under your belt with Malcolm Brogdon now running alongside you. How do you feel like you two have fit together and played at the same time? I feel like we fit well. Um, you know, he's getting in the paint, uh, getting two feet in the paint very consistently, and I'm just moving off of that. Uh, he lets me, you know, bring it up, and and he, he knows I can facilitate very well, and he, he allows me to do that. But also there are times where, you know, I think we're starting to learn each other, like I'm tired sometimes, so you bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Just that kind of just knowing each other I think is helping us a lot. I asked Isaiah something similar last game, but he can, you know, jump out of the gym. Have you ever played with a lob threat like that, and how much does that help someone like you who likes to facilitate? Yeah, I guess in sack was, with, with Rashawn was kind of my first time playing with a real lob threat and Damian Jones off the bench and just some other guys. Uh, but, you know, Isaiah really flies, and I think, uh, you know, he has the potential to be, you know, one of the you know biggest lob threats in this league. So uh, just keep learning each other and, and him learning, you know, how I like him to set screens and, and, and we're playing against different coverages every night. So, you know, just keep learning the game, keep thinking the game the right way, and uh, we're just getting closer, and that's helping. The Kings a couple weeks ago, you guys did not play as well against this Boston team. What, what did you sense is the biggest difference in the way you guys approached them tonight versus that game just a month ago? Well, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. We just we got smacked uh, in Boston last time. So, yeah, buddy talked about it before the game. Like, all right, we gotta get we gotta get this one back. Uh, so it was important for us. But I think I think like I said, just the randomness in which we played with, and, and Malcolm did such a good job defensively, and a lot of guys stepped up defensively. Uh, frustrated Boston a little bit, and I think that helped. Can you take us through the logo three and the shrug afterwards? Yeah, uh, I was just hoping my buddy gave me the ball. Sometimes he don't give me the ball in that situation. So I always tell him, just give me the ball and make it. So, yeah, I was just feeling myself a little bit.